beautiful YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another horror related video. I don't know if this channel is turning into just a horror. I mean, I still love Harry Potter. I still love tattooing and all that other stuff, but this is like the easiest videos for me to film right now and I've been kind of, you know, slacking and a little bit behind on videos anyway. So with that being said, I'm gonna be talking about an Etsy seller called Little Corpse Magnets and I've bought something from him before. It's a huge Pennywise bust and I'll leave the video of that review linked in the description so you can check that out as well. Um, he has a lot of cool things. I was looking at his Etsy today and there was just so so much new stuff that he's been making and I want it. So when you're ordering from him, sometimes if you want something specific, like what I'm about to show you today, um, sometimes it'll be taken off of the Etsy page because I think he only tries to make one at a time. So it might disappear and then pop up after he has time to make it. I probably pissed him off a little bit because I was, I, I'm very impatient and I was like, can you make these as fast as possible? And he was very nice, um, answered all my questions, changed anything that I wanted to be changed, and I highly recommend him. So without further ado, let's finally show you Jason. You ready? Okay, all right, here he comes. Woo! So this is the big Jason bus that I got. I paid $265, which I think is a bargain. Um, you get a mask as well with it and the stand that he's on. I'm just gonna kind of sit that right here so it's there. You can actually put the mask on his face if you want and just kind of show his body off or like if you're like me and you want to see all the gore and all the detail, it's just something that you can kind of sit on the side, prop up. So this guy for one, straight out of the packaging because of all the products that he used, it does have a very distinct smell to it. It's kind of like a paint. I don't know if it's like the foam or whatever. It's a very distinct smell. Pretty much now the smell has worn away because I've had this guy for since I think October is when I ordered him. Um, so when you get it, he actually comes with just this stand right here. It's a PVC pipe. Let's see if I can pull it off. So you get this, the bottom part of the stand, which is just spray painted. Um, I don't know if it was on purpose. It's like kind of scratched and um, not very perfect, but I think that's kind of cool because it's grungy in a way. And then you have the actual PVC pipe that goes into the stand and it just kind of goes like that. And then it's only painted up to here because you're not gonna see the rest of it anyways. And then there is a hole at the bottom where you can see like the foam where you can sit him on top of the actual stand. Let's look at, take a closer look at his face. The eyeball detail is crazy. It looks like an actual human eyeball. I wanna say it kind of feels like it's glass. I don't really know if it's glass. It could be um, a plastic or something, but it does feel like it's heavy duty quality. It's not like just a plastic, it could be plastic, but it doesn't look like like a very white, cartoony plastic eye, if that makes any sense. I'm really bad at explaining things. Then you have the eye hole right here, and his teeth look really gooey, gnarly. <laughs> I asked him to make it very juicy. Um, so when the light hits it, you can even see how much shinier and juicier that it, it that it really is. On the back, I mean everything about this, the detail is crazy. Like I personally would have paid even more for something like this. I all of his work is amazing, so you're definitely going to get something that's very unique to your collection. On the back, you can see where um, it's like his exposed neck bone that goes into his backbone and it's just so juicy and grimy. He actually has a little shirt um, and it's just like kind of the collar part and it's tucked 
down here just a little bit and then you have this kind of netting this is i want to say you know like the netting that you get um for like tablecloths around halloween time it's that type of netted material and his neck is really really juicy i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys an overall 360 of what it looks like what it looks like with the light hitting it so that way you guys can really see up close and personal I totally forgot and now it makes sense the reason why I didn't have it on the stand was because it's too uh, thick to fit in my display case but you can see when the lights hit it how much juicier and just gooey it looks and it just looks so amazing it just highlights all the gross graphic details and i absolutely love that now eventually um i want to put him back on the stand if i don't keep him in here he doesn't get to be illuminated and lit up but then I don't want his head to continue to be resting on the back of the display case and it ruin the actual piece more. So I'm not really sure. I could always put him like on the very top of my display case, but then I lose the lighting. So I don't know. I've always had him displayed kind of like this, but I have to push him back far enough because these bones kind of get in the way. But I do recommend if you want it juicy, like how I have it, that if you have some kind of lighting, um, it'll really, really just accentuate all the nice gooey parts of everything. Like just look at that. It's just oh, so gnarly and amazing. Just love it. with he signed it in here I'm not sure what the 13 X stands for um, maybe that's just something that uh, he does maybe it's the 13th one I'm not really sure um, it is a standard mask I don't know if the paint chipped off of it right here during shipping I really don't care I don't want it to be perfectly perfect that's one thing about like collector stuff i mean if it's kind of grimy and gross anyways i really don't care it's just really cool that it comes with it and you do have the option to stick it on his face with the mask on and him on the stand this is what he looks like really either way you display it, it's gonna look amazing um i just prefer to see all the grimy details it just kind of depends on um your preference now i will say i've had this in my display case just like this with um kind of like a stand underneath it but the back of the head i had kind of up against the glass in my display case i don't recommend that um just because i think that like the actual material that it's made out of like right here I don't remember if it came like this because I didn't do this review right away, um, but it does seem like it's just kind of missing that shininess right here. So just be really careful. Stuff like this, um, you want to preserve it as long as possible. And when I say I'm very, very nervous <laughs> for moving with all of my collector's items and everything, um, this is one of the reasons why because i don't want anything to get messed up or anything like that but his ears are very much human looking they're very gross and crunchy 
<laughs> the best I can explain it. You have like the bone exposed in his head, a little bit of meat right there, some gashes. Um, yeah, I love, love, love. I mean, I think I love all of my <laughs> horror collection but i will say this is very very well made and you can't beat the price if you're looking for something like this um generally it can run you in the thousands and i appreciate all the time all the effort that he puts into all of his stuff because like he has a rob zombie one that i really want he just put up a 13 ghost um the jackal i believe it's the one with the cage on his head don't come for me it's the wrong one um but i definitely want to get more pieces from him hopefully he won't get too annoyed when he sees my name pop up and i want to order some more stuff i'm not going to rush him this time i feel really bad for rushing him but um i did have a reason and I wanted everything to be perfect for a certain time. I 100% recommend you go and order one whenever it does pop, pop up back on his site. I will leave the link to all of his information down below. Tell me what you think. Do you like it with the mask on or do you like it with the mask off? Are you a fan of having it on the stand or not on the stand? Just let me know. I'd love to know you guys' opinion. And yeah, um, he's definitely a good member of my family and i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review of this if you guys have any questions or anything specific just let me know i love him so much and you should get one too and until next time i'll see y'all beautiful people later bye <laughs>